channel guys thanks for tuning in if you're new to the channel this is my 1988 mustang gt aka the red demon we're doing a 7665 on three turbo build on a bone stock 302 guys uh, i want to give a big shout out to uh mystic fox for giving me a little tip on the trick flow stud kit that you can get from uh, lmr appreciate that uh, as you've seen in the last video we did get the studs out of the upper end tape but uh, I'm not going to use those guys because two of the studs, man, are, are just really, really bad. You know, they're 30, 30 years old, 30 plus years old. So um, I don't think I'm going to use them. Um, so I really appreciate the tip on that. Uh, so basically what I've been up to, guys, is just been mocking everything up. If you guys have been watching my channel for quite some time now, you know I like to mock everything up. And it really pays to uh, get everything mocked up into place, guys, before you do the final bolt on. Uh, just so you can kind of work out all the little gremlins. Um, but that's what I've been up to, man, is just kind of getting everything mocked up, doing some tedious things that you guys really don't care nothing about seeing. And me personally, I wouldn't give a crap about seeing either. So that's what I've been up to. We're going to spin around here and take a look at what I've been up to and uh, go from there. But we got the On3 alternator bracket kit that they provided uh, mocked up on the car. Uh, we are touching the hose right here. I did trim some off of it. As you see, I got two silicone hoses on so far, but we did trim some off. I can't trim any more off because we're actually getting close to the elbow here. But I know it's hard for you guys to see, but as you see, the alternator is actually touching here. Uh, I might try to tweak this tube just a little bit. Uh, I don't want to tweak too much because this is a brand new uh, heater tube and we don't want to mess it up because it was uh, pretty expensive. And we can't go too far this way because then we'll be interfering with the uh, radiator hose. Uh, got the thermostat housing installed with the 160 thermostat. Guys, if you want to do a alternator conversion on your car with the 130 amp alternator, you can go to the junkyard and buy you one off of a 94 to 2000 V6. That's all you got to have. And then all you got to do is go to somewhere like LMR or American Muscle and then just buy the pigtail and just wire it in. I think I give like 15 bucks for this pigtail back in the day. Uh, and then just take and wire the pigtail in. As you can see, I, as you see, I still got the factory pigtail right there. Uh, just in case if we ever do want to go back to a factory alternator, we got that option. But that's a little tip I can give for you guys. I think I give like a buddy of mine owns a junkyard. Usually when he gets these things in, I'll go up there and buy them. Uh, I give like $25 a piece is all I give for them. And you can run the pulley. You don't have to change out the pulley either. Uh, and it will bolt up to uh, stock configuration. Uh, no problems. Uh, the stock bracket, all that stuff. You don't have to modify nothing. It'll bolt right up in there. Uh, I got actually two more sitting right back here. Uh, spare ones. Just in case if I ever need them. Turbo still is loosely on the car. As you can see, I got some of the cold piping uh, mocked up into place. Uh, we are going to wrap this. I just need to get some more uh, bands to hold the wrap in place. Now, I got the waste gate installed. And the reason why I went ahead and installed the waste gate is because I've already done uh, tightened up the hot piping. All that stuff's already done, been done. I uh, put the copper RTV on there, stuck it up there. From what I understand, guys, these V bands are kind of a one-time use deal on these on three kits. Spray a little bit of WD-40 on threads, and that's pretty much it on those. But I kind of got everything up into place, got everything kind of snugged, where it wouldn't move around too much. And then I came down right here, got me some grade eight bolts. Uh, tighten this up first to make sure I got a good seal right in here in this area. And then I went back and tightened up the V-bands. So the hot side is basically in place. Uh, where it's going to be and like I said uh, we got the wastegate installed uh, all this stuff's loosely installed it's not tightened up yet but we got the wastegate installed she's nice and tight uh, but that's pretty much what I've been up to guys just kind of getting everything mocked up in the place getting all the little tedious stuff done uh, off camera got the old wire loom taken off of the old injector harness uh, rewrapped everything with some electrical tape uh, probably get some more wire loom. I'm not sure yet. I may just leave it like this. Uh, don't look too bad. Uh, I know you guys 
probably see that I don't have an oil catch can. For no more boost and I'm gonna be running, I don't really necessarily need one. We're gonna put a screw in filter right here for right now. Uh, later on down the road, we're gonna pull the valve covers off of this 302 right here, get them cleaned up, get some bungs welded in them, and get them painted, and then probably install a catch can later on down the road. But right now, we're just gonna run with what we got right now just so we can get the car running because I like to be able to have the thing done uh, sometime this summer. But we are getting close. Uh, as you see, we made, we made some pretty good headway. I got the alternator over about as far as I can for right now. I uh, need to get the AC compressor up here. That way we can kind of get measured out for a belt. Uh, as you see, we're pretty close right here. Um, we may go back that way just a little bit more to kind of get a little bit more off of this hose right here. Uh, I'm not sure quite yet. Uh, still need to get an extension for the uh, fuel pressure gauge that we're going to install right here on the air motive. Uh, fuel pressure regulator but yeah guys that's pretty much what I've been up to man just kind of getting everything mocked up into place um, like I said if any of you guys have been watching my channel for quite some time you know I'm sticking for mocking everything up and uh, before I do the final bolt on uh, it pays man it really does but uh, we still need to get a uh, the upper hose is not gonna work it's gonna hit the turbo so we're gonna to have to get one of those uh, pipes. I believe it's from uh, Vortec or Paxson or something like that. I'm not sure. I think it's about 70 something dollars, man. I think it's pretty expensive. But we're gonna to have to get one of those. That way we can run the hose for the upper uh, radiator hose. I did stick the radiator, the radiator in there, kind of mock up everything uh, just to see if our hose is gonna work or not. Uh, but we still got a ways to go, guys. Uh, make sure you continue watching the channel. Uh, we still got a little bit more left to do as far as getting all the piping and stuff done. We still got the intercooler. We got the mock-up in place. Uh, get some brackets made for it and all that good stuff. I want to get a new condenser. Uh, get a new condenser that way we can get it installed and then get the intercooler installed and radiator, so on and so forth. We still got the micro squirt to get installed. Uh, still got new carpet to put in the car. So uh, yeah, guys, we got a lot left to do right now. We want to make sure we get it running first. Once we get it running, then we'll worry about getting the carpet and all that stuff put in the car. But uh, that's pretty much where I'm at so far on the build, guys. Like I said, my videos are current. Uh, I'm not videos ahead. Uh, what you see is where I'm at, basically. But uh, yeah, man, we're actually making good headway. Uh, like I said before, the biggest thing for me is time and money being able to have time to get out here work on it and having money to be able to buy the parts. You know, that's the whole point of having a budget build. Um, we'll buy everything on a budget, man, as cheap as we possibly can. But uh, we are getting somewhere, guys. We are getting somewhere. So in the next video, hopefully we'll do some final bolt-ons. Um, I don't know. We'll see, though. We'll see. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Drop me a comment down below. Uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel, consider cons uh, subscribing to the channel. Make sure you click that notification bell. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you then, man.